All right, this is the date and time of the continuation of defendant's motion for summary disposition and motion for security costs. Uh, it's my understanding that the parties did not uh, agree to the court's uh, proposed uh, order, which was that the plaintiff post a $10,000 bond uh, or the court was inclined to grant the summary disposition motion uh, without prejudice. Is that correct, counsel? Yes, Your Honor. That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. So, Mr. Mr. Dupuy, is my understanding that you wanted some counter? I mean, I, uh, uh, given, you know, the, the fact that the court found that your client was a public figure and given the heightened standards, uh, I thought, and uh, the, the defense counsel wanted 25000 I thought that 10000 was a reasonable amount. Uh, you, you had some other ma matters that you thought was... I, there's just a couple things I wanted to say on this, Your Honor. Um, my, my plaintiff, or my, um, excuse me, Derek May is the sole breadwinner for his daughter, his teenage daughter, and his daughter's mother, who's permanently disabled. He has not been able to generate any income in the past 11 months. So posting a $10,000 bond would cause a financial strain on him. So we're requesting a reduction to $5,000 or alternatively that the court allow 21 days for um, Mr. May to come up with the money. Mr. Hickey? Well, Your Honor, uh, I have to oppose that. I don't know and cannot possibly confirm Mr. May's uh, claims that he's uh, financially strained. Um, I do question that, but I don't really have, you know, any basis for questioning it at this point. Um, my concern is that Mr. Dupuy is also proposing uh, to uh, add some counts and um, add some allegations on the existing counts, which uh, we would oppose as a futility. Let, let me tell you where I was coming from with this judge. Uh, I thought $25,000 was a, a reasonable request given the scope of the discovery on all the issues involved. But our motion, if you recall, focused primarily on the issue of actual malice. You ruled that Mr. May is a public figure requiring then for the plaintiffs to prove actual malice. And it seemed to me, and that was the thrust of our motion, and I thought implicit in your ruling, that uh, that might be the best first step to see, you know, through discovery, through a, you know, perhaps bifurcated discovery, if there's any there there, if there's any proof there. Um, and if there isn't, then the case on the counts that are existing goes away. So I had proposed a limited amount of time for discovery on what I would call phase one, that being the actual malice issue, at which time we would be able to renew our motions because you were denying them without prejudice, actually, if you were going to deny them. Um, and that we would uh, complete that and determine then if there's any reason to go on. If we're gonna have a broader discovery judge, um, you have to understand that there's a, a, a pretty big number of witnesses here that are going to have to be um, deposed or investigated and even bigger now that uh, I read that resident um, advisor one of the publications that we um, brought to your attention before the last session has now just published again um, additional uh, stories claimants allegations uh, of people I think seven people were in the article who are alleging um, either being the subject of or being aware of either uh, sexual assaults or sexual harassment by Mr. May. So we've got seven more potential witnesses uh, to talk to. Um, that discovery judge is going to cost way more than $10,000. And I think Mr. Dupuy has to know that. And um, I will at least represent to the court that in my experience as a practitioner for 40 years now, that's a um, 10,000 is an underwhelming number if we're doing the entire thing. If we were just doing what we were talking about, which was what I'm calling phase one discovery, I think it can be done. But um, I think it should be posted very soon. I think the discovery should start right away. I think we could get all that done within the uh, time frame that's uh, contained in your status conference scheduling order, which cuts off discovery in May on May 5. Um, I have kind of a plan. I would talk to you about that. We're not there yet to discuss it, but 
uh, I can't, I can't agree to, you know, lowering the amount from 10, giving- okay, well, I wasn't gonna propose that. What I was gonna do is say that he would have 30 days to come up with it. Uh, I know that's longer than what you want, want it. As to the amendment, um, I don't have it in front of me. You're saying it's futile. I haven't seen it. Um, but before we could even go there, that money, if you wanna go with an amendment, you'd have to post the money first. And presumably file a motion with you asking for leave to amend in the manner that he's, right. whatever he's raising, mm -hmm. so, so that we could discuss it before it gets made part of the case. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Hickey? Uh, one, of the one of the things though is that, and, and I read closely a lot of affidavits and stories, was that your client indicated that there was an actual rape uh, or caught him a rape. Uh, is that in, a, uh, in actuality or are you talking about uh, attempted? Um, there is a... Because um, I didn't see any actual, because I would assume that there would have been a police report or something, or something like that. Like, uh, well, um, let me explain, Your Honor. We did talk about uh, a woman who claimed to have been raped in Toronto, Canada a number of years ago, who's presently represented by attorney Gloria Allred. And I suspect that's a name you've heard before. Right. But is anything ever going to happen with that? I know she sent a cease and desist or don't, yeah. but is that? My, yeah, my understanding is, Judge, that she is, um, her attorneys are in contact with Mr. May about that. The impression I got, which is not verified because I could get nothing out of Gloria Allred's office that would verify anything for me, um, is that they were negotiating a resolution or at least making demands of Mr. May for the resolution of that claimed rape. But my understanding is that was a rape in, okay. in but if, it, terms. If they do resolve it or it does or it goes away and everything, then that can't be used in this uh, case, correct? No, I wouldn't agree with that. I mean, if, if the allegation is that my client said something that wasn't true, That'd be one thing. The resolution of a claimed rape doesn't make the rape untrue. Okay, I, I get you there, but, but it makes it hard. I mean, I get you there. All right, yeah. would, uh, Your Honor, I would also add that there is no police report in that in that case. I, um, that, to my knowledge, I was told that if there is one, that it would be provided to me, and that was six months ago, and I haven't seen a police report. And I don't know whether there is one or not, Your Honor, because I haven't gotten that far to contact the authorities in. Uh, mm -hmm. Toronto or the province of Ontario to, to determine. But even if there wasn't, Your Honor, there would be a witness who, okay. who might testify, meaning the victim. My, my only thing, going to the plaintiff's counsel, my only thing, Mr. Dupuy, is how are you going to get around uh, these other stories uh, in this case to show malice when there are other people writing about the same thing? To me, it just seems like why would we want to invest a whole lot of money in something where uh, if you have a client that's a public figure, they get, I mean, you know, they get, you know, as a public figure, there's things that are gonna be said that, you know, are, are, there, there's just a different standard for that. So that's just, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, well, I guess we'll cross the when we come to it. So what's our next date? Our next date, Your Honor. Um, yeah. I guess I'm gonna bring a motion to amend the complaint. Yeah. Okay. I could get filed probably. So, today. You, so your, your, your intent is to file the $10,000 bill? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And how much? In 30 days from today, then you know the case will be dismissed without prejudice. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. okay so, Your Honor, we're not. It, are, are we are we allowed to start discovery now or are we waiting until then or what are we doing because we've got a we've got a discovery cut off may 5 your honor it's not that far away okay well that date can be moved, certainly because i've been moving a lot of them uh but i'll leave that up to you to you two to work out do you want to start discovery now or do you want to wait if mr dupuy say he's going to do it then i'll say go ahead and get started well, you know, right now, I think the ball is in Mr. Dupuy's court. I mean, if he's going to um, be able to prove actual malice as just one of the elements, there's others. 
Um, and, and that's an issue on which the case uh, could, could fa fail right there, just that issue. I would encourage him to start that discovery now, but I can't make him do it. Yeah, we can get started up right away. Okay. So Madam Clerk, what's the date 30 days from now? So just what is a return just to see where we are? That would be February 26. Yeah. Do we have 1130 open? Um. Yep, 11.30 is good. So I'll see you all, see you in February 27th, 11.30 to see where we are. Judge, can I ask you just one or two more questions? I'm making, try, trying to figure out how we write an order out of what's happened here in the last two sessions. Uh, defendant's motions for summary disposition are what, denied without prejudice or are they just adjourned? You could say denied without prejudice based upon uh, plaintiffs uh, promised to post a uh, $10,000 uh, cost bond within 30 days. Uh, okay, and um, you, and you can put in there if the defendant fails to post a bond, then the motion is granted without prejudice. Okay, and should the order include your finding that Derek May is a public figure for purposes of this case? Uh, yes. Okay. Brendan, am I missing anything here? Um, share, share the order with Mr. Com Council before we go forward. Before you go forward. Okay. All no, right, I, I think that covers it, Steve. I think we're all set, Judge. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Judge. Have a good day and be safe. Thank you. You as well. That's it? Who said that's it? Yes, that's it. I'm going to end the meeting for all. Can you? Uh...